Cancer is already the leading killer in many parts of the world, including in Massachusetts. But in the next 20 years, we anticipate that cancer deaths will more than double, and particularly in low and middle income countries around the world. We have an aging population, not just of course in the United States and Western Europe, but in China and India. Then all the challenges of air pollution, climate change, all of that is going to contribute to a substantially growing problem of cancer. And so the only strategy that makes any sense at all is prevention. The generous gift that led to the establishment of the Zoo Family Center for Global Cancer Prevention will have a profound ripple effect worldwide. Expert researchers at the center will discover new cancer prevention and early detection strategies. We believe that implementing these strategies may someday save countless lives across the globe and improve the quality of life for many more. We at the Zoo Family Center for Global Cancer Prevention are extremely grateful for the vision and generosity of our donors. The inauguration of this new Center for Global Cancer Prevention is coming at a very exciting time. We have many new technologies and scientific advances that allow us to innovate how we approach cancer prevention and early detection. Technologies are being developed today which can look into the blood and find very small signals which might indicate cancer. We're also looking at technologies that can assess the urine, the breath that we exhale, all kinds of biological specimens to search for fingerprints of cancer. Biology or science is extremely important for cancer and all human diseases. If we can unlock and take apart um, what systems are malfunctioning and lead to the development of cancer, those are all opportunities not only for treatment but for prevention. For the first time that I can think of, we have one place that brings together the leading scholars uh, from around the, the community to tackle this challenge. One of the exciting developments in our new center is bringing together scientists, clinicians, and implementation experts from across Boston. It's such an exciting time in Boston right now with all the enthusiasm from multiple fronts for uh, new ways of preventing and detecting cancer, looking at patients at high risk. We can have population scientists, implementation scientists, uh, basic scientists, computational biologists, and technologists in the room together focused on quick and effective preventative strategies that we can move from the bench, from the lab, from the big data analysis into people and populations quickly. An important consideration for our center is to ensure that all populations, regardless of their education, income, race, orientation, or residence, have access to the kinds of state-of-the-art strategies that will lower their risk of cancer. We know a tremendous amount about how to prevent cancer. We have many interventions, we have vaccines, we have policies, and we have community partners that can really work together with us to make our communities as healthy as possible and to prevent cancer. And so a big part of our work is to try to figure out how we really make that happen for all people. The scope of our new center will cover the complete spectrum of cancer from prevention, early detection and screening, all the way through to cancer survivorship in individuals that already have cancer. With smartphones, we can capture the kind of data that we couldn't even dream about capturing maybe 10 years ago. In the setting of cancer, we might be able to monitor people's response to treatment. We might be able to investigate disturbances in their sleep pattern. We might be able to examine their social support. What this will enable us to do is to build arcs of recovery for every individual. We'll be able to understand their quality of life, their mobility, their social functioning, and so on. We envision a world where fewer people will be diagnosed with cancer, and those that are diagnosed with cancer will have better outcomes and a better quality of life because we've detected those cancers earlier. Our innovative approach will generate groundbreaking discoveries that have the potential to save lives around the world.